Hey everyone, here Tommy Walker from Alicia Mindset for Success. I haven't been going, uh, going live for a while now. I'm sorry, I've been pretty busy uh, with s several things. Good things, of course, but very busy. But today I want to talk a little bit about why so many people are quitting when things don't go their way. And quitting might not be just quitting your business, quitting uh, something big. It can be small quits. What do I mean with this? Like whenever you want to reach out to people, whenever you need to post, whenever you need to do lives and you're not doing it, that's a way of quitting because as entrepreneurs, coaches or consultants, we need to, of course, get the word out, generate uh, people, to, uh, get people to know us, see what we're doing, give them value so that they get interested in what we're doing and maybe, you know, in the future start working with you. But if you're finding yourself stuck, procrastinating, overthinking, not being able to do the things that you know you got to do and you keep moving from project to project, signing up from one coaching program to another coaching program and doing many things, trying to get the results in your business, you need to understand that no new strategy marketing wise is going to get what you want. Uh, learning about sales is going to get what you want. First of all, you need to work on your mindset. If you want to become an action taker, a risk taker, you need to get rid of whatever is in your mind, the narratives in your subconscious mind that are holding you back. So lately I've been working with a lot of people. That's why I haven't been showing up so much here lives. I, and now I'm working with like 18 people right now in different areas. A lot of entrepreneurs that are finding themselves stuck and not being able to move forward in their business, reaching out to people, making sales, following up and things like that. And many of them, they find excuses on why to start a new thing, why to sign for a new program, what to do different things to be able to achieve whatever they want to achieve, increase their income. And unfortunately, it's not happening. They're not being able to grow their business, big, get a bigger income and create the impact that they want to create in society. And it, again, it has to do with these false limiting and negative beliefs, those narratives that they have in the back of their head. So imagine this, when we were kids and we started walking, we fell down. We weren't able to walk as soon as we started. It took some time and many times we fell to the floor or we weren't able to, but we kept on going. When we started talking, it wasn't easy. It took some time to learn it. So along the way, many of our attempts failed. But people, what happens is as they grow up, they start feeding their mind with their surroundings, with self-criticizing, with judgment and things like that. And those are the things that right now are holding your business back. Because if you want to grow your business and you have a narrative in your subconscious mind that says, I'm not good enough, I'm not worthy, I'm going to screw up, um, I'm not valued, I'm not worthy, uh, this is not going to work, uh, why are people going to pay me or, or jump to work with me? It all has to do with these creations in the back of the head. So if most people around the world are not being able to become entrepreneurs, although I will talk to tons of people that want to start a business, want to start something, work for their own, and they don't do it. And it's not that they can't. I've listened to people saying like, oh no, they, their people are weak, people are quitters. It is true, but they quit and they quote unquote are weak because that's the beliefs they have in their subconscious mind. So if, again, if we were weak and if we were quitters, most humanity wouldn't be able to walk, wouldn't be able to talk. But back then, we, didn't, we weren't so um, affected by criticize or judgment and we went on going. So, we fa so the attempts failed, our actions failed, but we kept on going. Now that we grew up, what happens is we start telling ourselves those stories that, oh, what if I fail? I'm a failure. I'm gonna, I'm, my, my family are going to think that I'm a failure. I'm going to give them, the, you know, the, they're going to have... They're, they're going to be right of what they said about my business, about me, am I not being able to do whatever. So we need to understand that to be able to become these risk takers, action takers that you already are. And that's what you need to understand. You are already that because you have accomplished things in your life. As I said, walking, 
talking and so many things that you have accomplished, it's not that you're weak or that uh, <clears throat> you are not good enough. Those are just false beliefs in the back of your head that you created that make you think that and are stopping you from taking actions. To be able to become this action and risk taker, you need to start finding what are the narratives you're telling yourself in subconsciously that are holding you back from taking your business to a next level, to increasing your income, to creating the impact that you want with your business, you need to get rid of the garbage in your head. Because again, when we were kids, there was very little garbage or no garbage, okay? And we accomplished things. And now why aren't we accomplishing them? Because all those stories that we're telling ourselves, hey, Roxanne, thank you very much for the hearts. Hope you're enjoying this. We are holding ourselves back because of these narratives that we have in our head. So if we don't find those that most people have no idea. I work with so many people that when we start talking about money, they're like, oh, I want money. I want to be rich. I want to be famous. I want to do this. I want to do that. They talk a lot about positive things. And when we start going into their subconscious mind, they say that money is bad. Money corrupts people. I don't want to have money because that's going to make me a bad person. And they don't even realize like, whoa, where did that come from? And they're like, shock because of the belief that they had in the back of the head. So you need to start working with your subconscious mind to unleash your true potential, create the income that you want, create the impact that you're wanting in the world by believing you in yourself and getting rid of the garbage in your head. So I hope it makes sense. If you're enjoying this, just sh 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 uh, send me some love. Send me some hearts. I'll be coming up uh, every now and then again and sharing some insights, some value for you guys to help you move forward. I see so many people quitting, so many people spinning their wheels, not being able to get their business to the next level. And it has to do mostly with their mind. And it has happened a lot with the people I work. I work with marketing coaches, with sales coaches. I work with tons of people with... Um, even mindset coaches, that they're stuck not being able to move their business forward and it has to do with their mind, with the beliefs that they're not being able to access and change to move their business to the next level. So again, thank you very much for staying around. Send me some love. Write down here if you have any comments. Uh, type in if you want, hashtag live or hashtag replay if you're watching. And I'll see you around. I hope you can use this and start getting your business to the next level that you deserve it. And you have the potential, but you have these narratives, these stories in the head that are holding yourself back. Identify them, change them, and things are going to start changing. Thank you very much. Have a great day. If you like these videos, I would really recommend that you subscribe to this YouTube channel to get more videos, more information on how to change your mind and hence how to change your life or your business. So thank you very much. I hope to see you around in the next video. Bye.